Okay, I wanted to show you guys the difference between mob density and hero density, basically. So, you weren't getting much in the way of loot doing that, but you were leveling a lot. Well, okay, so you exit the game, you go in here, right click on this guy, hey, do we have any and, of that and you reset this, that left? then you increase this, say, two times, see what it's like. If you're doing okay, go another one, etc. Okay. Early on in the build, you know, don't go too high. You just die. Now I just cleared out all this and had. I was. I'm, I'm pleasantly okay with the third level of this. We're gonna try it in here because it's a bit. Hmm. Gotta be careful. over there and then run the heck over there. testing out, you know. This is what you do with your builds, you know. When you need the loot. There's another blue. And I gained a level. See, I went and I got a whole bunch of these blues on the side here, and I just, I, you got dynamite. You have to kill the warden before you can buy dynamite, though. So, just store this until you can. Right. Sell the green stuff. Green stuff that, unless you don't have anything, you know, you want to replace stuff that's better. If you got better stuff here, put it in there. You know, that's just what you do. Um, let's see. Okay. And one thing I forgot to do was this, which gave me a whole nice little bonus. Seems like somebody's playing with my door over there in front of the apartment. Anyway, so let's see here. Just a second. this way out because then that gives me extra damage. Was this, one? this was the defense part. Taking less damage. Damage the aether corruptions. This will be good for the boss fight. Because he's an aether corrupted whatever. And an ethereal. I'm gonna do is take one, two, and go boom. I was doing 4,000 damage. Now I'm gonna do like 4,100. <laughs> this is what I mean. I, I gathered all of this just from going from here to this little area. Right? <laughs> that's the difference. Like if you need loot, that's what you do. And a smarter way is not to go up and around here. Back up a bit, you get the damage, 
Instead of going up and around there, which is dangerous because you get a choke point and it's hard to go and battle through choke points, do this. Show you guys the one way that's left that you can use money to buy a legendary uh, item. Um, I'm just sort of livid about doing it. Take some scrap or, or some other items that you might get, and you got You got. You'll have to do some of this looting anyway because it requires some of these, right? And. Uh, <clears throat> the rub is, is that if you nurse that, I'm done with the pills. I'm just done with it because it'll take two weeks before I have enough loot to do each damn bloody pill. Okay. I mean, there's 1,600 or so possibilities, you know. I've, never, I've maybe done 10 or 15, and every time they. they upgrade the game and wreck all my builds. I gotta redo everything. You know. That's why I... It's the same with everything. I just don't upgrade right away to anything. Because stuff gets wrecked. Especially with mods. And it's pretty bad when the mod guy is doing it. Whoa, that really hurt. I don't know what hit me there. That was different. There was something that already heated around the corner there. You gotta pay attention. You can die doing this. Any more blue stuff all scattered throughout this third one here? That's the second area. Well, now we're into this area. Lots of blue stuff. And you can figure that about. Anywhere from about a third of them will end up being tokens. Okay, that's what I kind of see is about a third. So if it's about 30%, you got three, six, so about, you get two tokens out of that. So you got one, two, three. So there's another token. And then you see this, that's another token. That'll be another token. That'll be another token. And once you get to, um, you save that apprentice, like I showed you there, right? Go back here. I'll show you what you do. You go see her. Right? And you do this. See. Let's take a look. Click on dismantle. You put this in there. You gotta have some dynamite. You will put a stick of dynamite in there. Then you see this. And you go, yes. No, that didn't work out. So you Put that over there and you just throw this away. Alright, let's try this one. There we go, we got a token. See what I mean? And so on. <laughs> now mind you, I clear the rest of my inventory out and make it look nice. And this is why this is why you make that one OP build 
like a, a the spark or scentless type thing or an arc mage like I've shown before which I'll still have to do and that way you can crank up the difficulty level on these heroes and just have so much everything will be blue and you'll start seeing purple drops and you'll be going yeah cool right yeah, and then and then it's a lot less of a bullshit thing right because otherwise and I'll show you it, it, it's if you nerf this I swear I'll make I'll, I'll make a big huge stink about it you click on this one here okay and I'll show you what he nerfed. I do the best that I can with what I've got. Over in here, okay, it used to be, see all this is green? It used to be all of this was purple. And you could go like this and you could buy a purple. And it was about that cheap. So I could fill this whole thing full of, you know, purple and then turn it into tokens. Well, I can see why they nerfed that. But, you can still buy some purple problem is the freaking price <laughs> I can buy two of them and then I could get two maybe uh, you get a third chance in it for a token right yeah that's the point to make right there that's why it was done because now screw you you know if you find any player, that's 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 what a modder did okay Got and, and it wasn't the other mods that were doing that. He actually even said it, that he keeps decreasing. And he's been decreasing the odds of stuff. And, and i got to wonder, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why wouldn't you want people to experience all the different types of classes and everything else and try and mess around and have fun? Why wouldn't you, why would you do that? What is the reasoning? You know, it's not like... It's not like seven years ago where none of us had, a, you know, we all have potato PCs and shit. Even my potato PC, I, I, I was okay with it. I just didn't get the difficulty up that high. It took me a little longer to get more. Then I got a better PC, and then I got, you could do more. And then I, and then I, got, I got this PC because I wanted to be able to do all this, and, you know, and, and they, this, this, they changed how some of the skills work and shit. Oh, well done. Man. They, uh, that used to be, with this thing, I'll show you something here. This is another thing they nerfed badly, was, uh, where, this thing. Okay. This was cool. This was really cool. It was a very seldom known or used boat thing. You go like this. That's very laggy, by the way. And you know how, uh, where was it? Uh, this belt, let's say. I don't know the belt. Let me see here. Uh, where it says granted skills on this staff. Okay. Vision of death, 33% chance when hit. Well, there was a thing in here you had toggled. Now, none of these have toggled. In fact, good luck finding something that buffs you. Okay. I think they're all gone or thereabouts. So, at best, you're going to get something like... 10% chance on attack or 20 and that it goes by levels right right and you've got 94 and, and all this other stuff but you could you could and it, it was something that got you around in the game too because some of these items were, were green ones that you had to know about the secret little special areas to go get that certain item so you would go there and you would collect a bunch of them and then put them in your inventory so if you ever wanted to or you know it was it got you in and around in the game to do things when it started getting you to, to notice where certain uh, items were and everything else but I don't know and, and you used to be able to put them on belts that was another one and uh, now you can't I got it but the ones that I do have on belts, they still function. So, uh, at least you didn't screw that around so that, you know, um, I mean, it makes sense. Why wouldn't you be able to do this with every piece of inventory? Makes sense. I don't know. 
It's just, it's like making the game harder and harder and harder and harder and harder and harder and harder, and harder over time so that you, you have to stick around longer and 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 longer, and longer. for what? You know, they only got one more DLC coming out maybe in the new year. Nobody expected that, so, you know. And then all of this will change again because the DLC will add things and change everything up. So it's another point of contention where I will buy the DLC and what I'll do is, um, maybe what I'll do is, uh, put it on the other computer that isn't so good and just run with regular, you know, or whatever and see what it's like. Because then I, at least I have this one where I won't upgrade it and uh, yeah, thank you, you know. Then I can, I can mess around with it. I mean, What was that uh, one game that was pissing me off how much they were upgrading it? Um, oh yeah, Stellaris. You know, Stellaris used to have so many cool mods that it wasn't even funny. It was so cool. So what did the mods do? They started upgrading their stupid game every every two weeks or something like that. And and it just it just started pissing off, I think, the modders because Slowly but surely, you stop seeing the cool mods getting made, and then it was like, oh yeah, what the hell did I do here? Okay, I get that out of the way, that out of the way, that out of the way. I guess, uh, yeah, whatever. Um, just do that. Hmm. Well, you go there, and you go there. Aha. Let me take you there, put you there. It's like a jigsaw puzzle, isn't it? See how I made that bit? That's how sharp the mind is. That's what this does. It maybe helps you. It's like a puzzle. Make it fit. Anyway. What do you want? Yeah, what do I want? Uh -huh. Wouldn't you like to know? Safe storage. No questions asked. Click on that. Click on that. Click on the top. And go back here. Right, see all the green? It's safe with me. Promise. Go back over here. Come see what's left of my wares. He wants to make a charge of 125,000. Okay. Not only do I have the blue ones, I'll keep the blue for the, the epic parts until, you know, you get say around. 55, 60, right? Maybe even higher, 65 is around that time. I got to a point where, with my other character, right, <clears throat> uh, I was filling up all five tabs of these in a run. So, I mean, sooner or later, I was getting uh, maybe five or six purples every time so there was like an extra two tokens as bonus. Okay. <laughs> so what you do is you just put this stuff near near the front.
0.6%, but it's an axe. Or a staff, I'd be happy. Anyway. So, anyway, so I got all that. Everything that's in here is just from today, right? As far as stuff, right? See you around. I mean, I could really push it, maybe go up another difficulty level and get more loot. But you're pushing it, right? Now, the other part to make is, you want to get devotion points to increase the strength of your character. Just turn all this stuff off and go complete the game. Get your devotion points. And then, put the, uh, get this item. Uh, where is it? You see anything you like? You know, even do... Get about 30 devotion points, right? However long that takes you to do. Take this thing, drag it into your inventory, <coughs> restart the game, go to uh, Elite Difficulty. It restarts the game, you get to keep your character at the current level with the gear and everything else, and you start over the game. So then you can do these easy areas and get devotion points again. Okay, and it's sort of a, you do the same thing and then go to Elite, same thing. Because both of these, these two, aren't as hard as using this thing with the hero difficulty up. Okay, it just isn't. <laughs> all, all these do is make it so that you, um, you don't get as much experience points we're doing things, right? And they make the monsters a little tougher, a little tougher, right? And they take away your bonuses here, okay? The difference being is that numbers will will overcome this eventually, right? See, I gotta be, I gotta deal with that. Uh, might be worth losing a little bit of damage to put some that into that because I'm good there and there and I'm good across here all in through here that's gonna need to come up with much detail. all in well spent anyway take care